Um, I think we're just going to take the, try and take the same approach we've taken um, with the preseason games. Um, go out there, execute, uh, prepare well, and, and kind of have the right focus when we go into it. Jalen, did you feel like the bye week was valuable? Sorry, did you valuable. Feel like the bye week was valuable, and if so, how, how so? I, th I think so. I think um, we definitely kind of took the right approach going into it. Um, getting a little time away from it, I guess. Also getting the chance to reevaluate ourselves and uh, reevaluate ourselves as a team. Um, but that um, kind of allows you to make the improvements you need to make um, and, and focus on those on, on those little things and the little details. So we're going we're gonna to attack this week and um, prepare really good for Texas Tech. What are some of those areas, some of the little things and details that you want to improve on? Um, it goes back to the execution of it, executing better. I said it all year, being sharp and crisp. Generally speaking, where do you think your offense has improved over the first three weeks? Um, it's still early, so um, like I said, just going out there and being more complete every time we, we go on the field. What stands out to you about Texas Tech's defense? <coughs> I think they got length. They're fast. They, they move to the ball really well. And they got athletes. They got great players. Um, so um, we'll have to do some things to kind of put ourselves in good situations. But they're they're good defense. Jalen, in what ways is it, is it easier to work on yourselves when you don't have an opponent to prepare for? I'm sorry. When you when you you, you mentioned working on the little things, is it easier to do that on a bye week when you don't have an opponent, your specific opponent you're preparing for? Yeah, because your focus is in kind of different areas, um, but. I say so. When you're on an open date like that, like last week, do you watch college football on TV yourself? A little bit. Did you have to catch UCLA's game? I did. How crazy Pretty, was that? pretty, pretty crazy game. Um, I mean, I was happy to see them fight back and win. Um, I think they got good players. They're a good team too. I'm happy they um kind of shook back from you know their, their previous couple of games they lost, but I was happy to see them win. Is your mindset that nothing is ever good enough, is that something that you come by naturally or did someone help instill that in you? I, mean, I was I was that way in high school. I so happened to go to a college where he was he was the same way, that's why I went there. Um and it's kinda always been like that. I'm a coach's kid, um and it's it's kind of the rarity of being that way I guess. Um seeing different things growing up and having different approaches. On different things, that's, that's why the, that's why I am the way I am. Even, even though being you know, three and zero, a lot of breaking a lot of records in the first three games, it, you're still not satisfied. Why is that? Because it ain't enough. Because it's not enough. When you, obviously you're focused on this season and, and, and your upcoming game, do you ever take a look, kind of step back and, and look back at where you you know where you were at the 2018 national championship game and and, and where you've come now and where you're at? Um, I think we're far from we're, we're, we're far from where we want to be. Um, why, why would I look back now and find any satisfaction on the little? It's, I can't do that. We're not going to do that. When you do self evaluate, Jalen, is is there even one thing that you look at on when you're with Lincoln and say, I like what I did there. I, I, I'm making progress there. Is there is there one thing you could allow yourself to? Um, I just think that the execution, executing the offense, executing um, the assignments, um, every player on the field being disciplined enough to do it. Um, and I think that, that that's definitely areas where we can improve and um, be more polished, be more sharp, so we can uh, put, put more points on the board. Jalen is a running, as a quarterback who can run uh, extremely well. <clears throat> you notice that in the NFL on Sundays that they're running the quarterbacks a lot more than they did three, four, five years ago. And, does, and if so, does that give you more confidence that, hey, you're going to excel on the next level? Um, I, mean, I, I see it. Um, you know, it, it's, it looks like it's changing. Um, that's out of my concern right now. I'm worried about Texas Tech and, and, and handling business versus those guys. When you talk about watching these other games, when you were at Alabama, did you did you catch any of the OU Tech games, especially that one from 
three years ago, I guess it was, the crazy one in Lubbock. When, uh, oh, I've, when seen, I've seen highlights. I've seen highlights. Um, I've seen it on film, of course. Um, but that's about it. Did you ever think you'd be playing in a, in a, in a game like that? Or UCLA-Washington State was similar the other night. Just no, crazy football. I never thought I'd be at Oklahoma, but here I am. What do you enjoy most about the process, uh, or, or or do you enjoy the process, or is it just all about you know achievement, the next thing, getting a little better? Um, you know, you can't really look at. You got to have goals. You know, um, you got to have goals to to achieve great things. Um, there's no. You don't get you don't get a direction without having a destination, right? You don't, you don't you don't get there without having any direction or a destination. So, I think um, you know it just comes down to kind of trusting the process and being disciplined and having the right focus to do what you want to do, do the things you need to do, um, and kind of staying the course and keeping the main thing the main thing. Do you enjoy the journey? Absolutely. Do you write your goals down, or do you just I, I do. week to week? I week to week. Um, you know, I have I have goals. I think I think the team goals are most important to me. Um, what we want to achieve as a team, but that's what it's about. What we want to do. You mentioned team goals. So how do you block out then all this talk about you and the high school? I mean, it, it's not the first time I've had to block it out. Um, we just we just focus on what we need to do as a team, what we want to do as a team. I've been saying rap poison forever, and I'm going to continue to say it because that's what it is. I'm not worried about none of that. I'm worried about what we um, want to accomplish as a team and what we need to do as a team to to, to achieve those goals and the process of doing it. Jamie, you the comfort level, uh, the difference in the comfort level with this offense compared to the offense you ran in Alabama? Which one? Do you, do you see a difference in the comfort level? Are you more comfortable with this offense rather than what you used to run? I have like six coordinators there, so. Um. You've had a chance to look at Big 12 defenses studying Texas Tech. Do Big 12 defenses play different than the defenses you face in the SEC? If so, how much? Football is football. Um, I don't get caught up in the, the differences here, differences there. Um, at the end of the day, we got to go execute. Everybody has great. Everybody has great players. So, I think it's about what are you gonna do to kind of. I mean, I I play them and, and win. What are you gonna do to win the game? It comes down in the same variable. Jalen, when you talk about we're we're not going to do this, you've been elected a team captain. Do you, do you get the sense that you've had an impact on this team's mentality when you talk to them compared to maybe how things were when you got here? I think any leader. Um, Tries to go in there and, you know, if you're moving and trying to move in the right direction. Look, I'm far from perfect. I I may say some nice stuff or whatever, but I'm far from perfect, all right? And I definitely try and set the right example. I try and get, you know, guys ready to go or whatever, but, you know, sometimes you got to challenge yourself too um, and you got to challenge the, everybody around you so we can level up as a team. In challenging yourself, though, more. Does, in challenging yourself, though, does that – I mean, setting that example, do you feel like that helps set the example for everybody else? I think um, when I have the right focus, when I am um, when I have the right intent, when I'm practicing hard, um, and, and you know, I always try and go out there and um, take advantage of every rep. Um, I think when we got that as a team, when we um, take that right intent and practice, everything we do means um, the, the right approach to it, I think we're special. You mentioned you about Charles Garambo, just the way he's got on about his business. Um, you know, I, I knew when I first got here, I knew he was a heck of a player. He has um, very dangerous speed. Um, and he, he, he's been doing well for us. He's been very productive. Last one, Tyler. Jalen, you've mentioned uh, having the right intent. Uh, and I'm just kind of curious, could you kind of explain what you mean by intent? And like, what would an example of maybe wrong intent be? I think the right intent is simply just um, being disciplined, being focused, um, having the right attitude when you're approaching whatever you're doing, um, and you know, taking coaching, listening to the coaches we have here, 
Um, and really trusting, trusting everyone around you, trusting the coaches, trusting your teammates. Um, you know, those, those, those little things that, that kind of go unseen um, and, and untalked about. Just trusting everybody.